Okay, in this video, I'm gonna be taking off this wooden grip on my Type 81 and replacing it with this bake-like AK pistol grip. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna disassemble the Type 81 and take this grip off. So after making sure that your firearm is safe, I'm going to take the dust cover out. This is optional. Probably don't have to take this particular piece out. This is the little spring spring plate for the safety. On my particular Type A one, I'm taking this out just because I got it modified and it comes out easy. So now I'm gonna cast the gun about upside down and using a very large flathead screwdriver. You want to make sure you use a really large one so it doesn't want to skip off the screw when you're rotating. I'm going to use this screwdriver to crank the screw out that holds the pistol grip down. There you go, out comes the little tiny screw on the wood pistol grip. Okay, so once you got that off, You'll notice uh, you can see the little retaining nut that's wedged into the receiver here to hold the, the screw in place. Um, there's a chance that if you've taken your screw out, this may have already fallen out of your receiver on mine because the, the person at the factory just so happened to rivet the grip plate, as you can clearly see, crooked on my Type 81. Uh, the, the metal is actually wedged or pressed. It's kind of deformed around the nut jamming it in place so mine didn't come out but you're going to want to take that out as well like so here's that little nut this is very important you don't want to lose this because you're going to use this still you're not going to use the nut that came with your type 80 or the bolt that came with your type 81 but you are going to use the nut that came with it so here's the wood grip as you can clearly see fairly nice. I, I don't have too many complaints about it except that for some reason this grip just keeps coming loose. It fits my hands really well but I really like these grips as well so this is what I'm going to be installing on the Type 81. It's a Bakelite AK grip. Now you'll notice right away that I've measured them out although the circumference of these grips is the exact same to the very millimeter so they, they, they'll fit your hands kind of the same way in terms of gripping but uh, you can see there's a clear difference in, in length. Well, not too much, but definitely this one's longer. So if you have bigger hands, you're probably gonna opt for something like this as well. Now, because it's longer, you'll notice the bolt that comes with your Type 81, of course, fits this one just fine. However, if you use that same bolt in your AK Bakelite grip, you can see it's it's not gonna, because the nut only insets into the grip about a centimeter or so, it doesn't come even close to uh, being long enough to reach that T-nut in your receiver. So the first thing you're gonna have to do before you even start this installation is you're gonna have to outsource a place where you can find a longer bolt. Now. The thread on these particular bolts is six millimeter by one millimeter pitch. So I'm not too sure what the length is of this particular bolt, but what I did is I went to a local industrial shop here in Calgary, Alberta, and I just purchased this cap screw. So you can see it has a socket head on it uh, from that store and it has 120 millimeter length and it's a six by one thread. So even though I haven't bored the hole in this grip yet to fit it, uh, you can see it's clearly gonna have enough threads to reach up into the receiver where the T-nut is. And then of course I'll cut the excess off when I'm done. So that's the first step. You're gonna wanna make sure you find the proper bolt that's gonna allow you to mount this grip. 
So the two big things I'm going to have to do here to install this grip, now that I got the components, is one, the easiest step is I'm going to have to bore out this hole in the bake light just a slight bit larger to fit this uh, the, the head of this cap screw. So that's the first step I'm going to do here pretty shortly. The next step is a lot more complicated. I have to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to cut most of this grip plate away uh, in order to make this grip sit down on it because unfortunately the, the profile of this the top edge of this grip does not match up with the type 81s. So I'm going to have to machine I'm going to have to cut away some of the grip plate. But yeah, I'm going to want to leave some of it in place, especially towards the front here because by doing that and leaving that that grip plate so it interlocks up this grip, that's going to make the grip a lot more sturdy so when it's fastened it's not going to want to rotate on you. Where if you were to just cut this plate completely away and then just bolt it down to the receiver without any plate left to hold this grip, there's a good chance that you'd, you'd find when you're shooting and just waving the gun around by using the pistol grip, uh, you'd feel some creaking and this, this grip would be kind of shifting around a little bit. So that's going to be the more tricky part is taking away some of this plate. Alright, so here's the stuff I've decided I'm going to cut away. I want to leave the edges of this grip plate right up until it becomes flush with the outside of the receiver. So I'm going to cut right around there. I'm going to get rid of uh, everything behind this. Now, one thing I'm going to want to do is I want to leave some material that allows this rear rivet to still support the rest, the front part of this plate. Because if I take out all them, if I just cut this off right here, um, the only rivet that's going to keep this piece from pivoting will be this rivet right here. And I don't want that, I want it to be very rigid. So what I'll probably do is make a cut more in around here like so. That way this rivet will still do its job uh, supporting this. But this will all be gone because this isn't going to, as you can see here maybe, this isn't going to interlock with this this grip very well or it's going to look very ugly so it's just going to get removed and then of course while I'm at it you can see that this this is that spot where the the grip plate has been uh, making contact with that t-nut so I might as well cut that away as well tough stuff So I did a little bit of uh, countersinking to start the hole or to start the drill. I used this kind of this end mill like item, drilled up most of the way and then I reamed the sides a little bit. And the head goes in now, but I've noticed uh, as you can see it's a little off alignment. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drill it out this hole just a size larger so it has some play so it can go straight. Let's see how this works.
already. So you can see now I have that uh, material that I said I was going to cut away all, all cut away. I decided to go a little further forward on these edges here just because I, I want them to be recessed inside the grip. I don't want to break this outside, this outside edge of the grip. So I decided to cut them in so they're going to be, they're going to be inside the receiver. They're not going to be flush with the outside. Um, I also, you can see I cut a little deep in some spots and I did nick the actual receiver material itself, but that's pretty minor. Like it's just a scratch. Tis but a scratch. So, so um, yeah, now I'm ready to lay out the marks on the grip because what I'm going to do is I'm going to, where these, where these uh, edges are on the grip plate, I'm actually going to cut slots in the Bakelite to fit those. So that way I don't have to, uh, I'm not going to hollow out the inside of the grip, I'm actually going to just cut lines. So that way it will slip right down over top of those lines and those lines will be basically interlocked inside the Bakelite material, which will make it a very, it will make for a very sturdy but yet discreet setup. So that's the idea. So what I'm going to do to mark this is I'm going to get some red paint, some sort of goo, some sort of marker material and put that on these edges and then I'm going to very carefully place the grip on the grip plate in the orientation that I want it and then hold it and then I'm going to flip it up and hopefully there will be paint marks on the grip where those lines are and that's that will indicate where I need to cut it. Unfortunately this is red paint going on a red pistol grip. So we're not going to get very good contrast. You know you have a really strong relationship with your firearm when you do its nails with nail polish. Um, now that turned out really poor, especially for you, you people in the video aren't even going to see what type of mark that did. But you know, that, that left enough of a residue on it that I think I'll be able to get my marks off that. So I'm going to work with this. Okay, so just by using the few little droplets I got on that, I was able to, as far as I could tell, accurately mark out where those slots are going to be on this grip. And I just scratched it in using a X-Acto knife. Alrighty, so I got the front portion of this Bakelite grip all carved out. You can see I decided to go with the method of just carving out the material to the outside edge of these lips rather than cutting a, a thin little slot in the material for them. Uh, this probably proved to be a lot easier task than doing the slot method. And to do this I, I used my trusty dusty Dremel with a tungsten carbide bit on the end of it. It was really effective at taking out this, this Bakelite material. So as you can see, when I set this grip down on the receiver, it, uh, it straddles those two lips quite well, making for a fairly snug fit at the front here, which will mean once I get this bolted on, it, it'll definitely have, it won't have the tendency to want to rotate on the receiver so bad because of that interlocking motion up at the front here. However, I have this pivoting problem I have to get rid of before I call this finished. And what that is, it's the material left on this grip plate that I have around this area here. This material is making contact with the grip right around this region, and that's preventing the back edge of this grip from touching the, the receiver material of Type 81. So what I'm going to want to do is put some more paint on this grip plate and then set the grip back down on it in the position I want it to be in and then see where that paint ends up on the grip. And then I'll just want to shave about the thickness of this grip plate, so, you know, about two millimeters or so of material off the painted surface.
All right, got the last bit cut out. As you can see, these two angled bits here kind of match up with this. See how it fits. So yeah, that's pretty. That's about as good as I'm hoping to get. So once I get that that bolt in there and start torquing it down with a screwdriver, it should should get really nice and snug. So I'm gonna call that good. I want to fasten it down and see how much thread is sticking out inside the receiver and mark it off and then cut the excess threads off that I don't need. Alrighty, so here's the finished product. I think it looks pretty good. And what I really like about it is already I can tell it's a lot more robust and uh, and uh, sturdy than the wood grip that comes with the Type 81. Uh, I definitely am not noticing any play in this at all. It feels like a, a really strong fixture to the firearm, so you could definitely support it by just this grip alone. And, there's no creep or any play to it, which is what really bothered me about the wood one. And uh, despite the grip looking good and feeling good in my opinion, uh, it, it is slightly larger as well. So for those of us that have fairly large hands and find the wood grip a little small, this definitely solves that problem as well. So all in all, I'm pretty happy so far. We'll see how well it holds up over time, but um, Considering the grip that I put on Vera, my Visa clone worked, was done the same way as this and it's held up great for like the last two years. 
I have no doubts that this won't that this uh, won't as well so that's the installation vid I uh, hope you guys enjoyed and find this helpful take care